Hello, welcome to Maths with Niall. Today we'll be doing tally charts. Hi Niall, and what do you know about tally charts? People use little strokes to count information. Okay, so we'll be using little lines to count the data. So what information do we have in that first tally chart there? Colour, tally and frequency. Okay, so that's the headings of the colours. And all of these are colours of cars. Okay, so we took some colours of different cars and now we're going to show everyone how to fill up the tally chart. Yes. Using those. So the first thing I want you to do is to grab your whiteboard pen. Okay, good. So you're going to go to your colours, your information on top, and you're going to cross out the first colour. So what's the first colour? Silver. So you're going to cross the silver out, and when you cross it out there, you're going to put one stroke. So I cross this out. Yes. Silver, and then you want to put a stroke for the silver. Let's see what you're doing. Let's see how the stroke looks. That's it. So we're going to go back up and do the blue. Blue. Okay, so I cross my... Just one out. cross is fine. You don't need to do two lines. And put one for the blue. Okay, so those are the strokes that you're talking about. Okay, what next? Silver. All right, keep going. That's our second one line. silver. That's our second silver. So what are you going to do now? I'm going to put a second strike for silver. And then we've got another silver. No cross it out first, just so that you make sure you don't leave any out. Three silvers. Okay. And then silver. So silver. So how many silvers? Can you how many silvers now do you have there now? Four. And you've just crossed another one. So instead what do you of to... putting a fifth strike, you would what lots of people call cross the gate. Okay, so that's the fifth one. So how many silvers do you have all together? Five. Very good. So can you continue please? Um Black, and then? Another silver. Okay, so what happens now with now the silver? Now you put another one. Okay, so we and start... Another five. Another group. Okay, next? Blue. Mm Silver. Okay, now can we discuss that silver now? What's happened there? So we've got two fives, we've got ten. Okay, so is it easier to see it when it's in groups like that? Yeah. So you can tell we've got two groups of fives. Okay, continue. Um, black, white. Silver, silver. Okay, brilliant. So you've finished. So now you've filled out the tally column. Which column's missing to fill out? Frequency. Frequency. And do you know what the frequency will be? How much? Yeah, how many? Just the number that goes with the tally. So can you and I think tally really helps if you're counting things 
because then you easily know this is five because there's one only one cross one group of five so yeah. that's the point of it actually because if you look at all of those columns those colors at the top yeah and it you looks, have to count all of them. It looks quite confusing. Yeah, it's like you but it miss would out. be easier to exactly. do it in groups of five. So let's find the frequency of each colour now. So how many black? One cross. So one group of five. Yeah, so equals five. Okay. Silver, okay. So te ten and then eleven, twelve. Good. So twelve. Our silver is definitely in first place. Mm. Um, blue, seven pickers, five, six, seven. Good. And now white, seven as well. Seven as well, okay. Very good. So let's stand to the side and let's see. So can you tell me which colour is the most popular? Silver for sure. Which colour is the least popular? Black. Okay, and how many more silver cars were there than blue cars? Um, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Very good, Naya. 5. 5. Very good. Okay, Naya, let's look at your second tally chart. If I said to you that this tally chart was about different animals on a farm, what information can you read off of that tally chart? Um, it says horse has zero here, but it says it has 12 here. So the tally isn't filled out, it's not yeah, so zero. That means that it's we'll missing. have to do it. So I want you to fill out this tally chart. And then this one, it's the this one is the opposite to this one. It has the tally done, but it doesn't have the number for us. The frequency. Okay, so where are you going to start? Um, here. Okay, so go on. What are you going to do? I'm going to put stripes like... I'm going to put stripes like this one until I get to 12. Okay, it's the same number. Can you stand to the side so we can see? One, two, three, four, five. And oh wait. Is that correct? No, it is not. It is not correct. So why don't you take stop for a minute, take it off and flip it over. And let's that was a a mistake. So what did you do wrong, Niall? I put five instead of four because I was meant to because the five is when you cross the gate put that line across all of them. Okay good so let's start again. One, two, three, four. I'm not going to make that same mistake. Okay. Five. Very good. Five. And then we have to do another five to make ten, but then two more. Okay. Can you count first? One. Six. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. And then? Eleven, twelve. Very good. So you've got two lots of fives, and then you've got two single strokes. What about the next row? What does it say? Um... We have, it doesn't say anything. It does, it gives you information. Yeah. What information well, does it give you? What are we counting? The, it, we're counting these. Yes, but what, what is that? Those are the tallies. The tallies of what? I don't know. Stand back of the sheep. Oh, oh, and this was horse. Yes, yeah, so we had yeah. 12 horses and now we're doing the sheep. Yeah, okay, now, yeah, 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 now I get it. Okay. So, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17. Okay, can you use your 17? So, your frequency is 17.
Okay. Yeah. What's next? What's and now we have to do nine of them. For what animal? For chickens. Why are there so little chickens? Don't know. Chickens are very small. They should have more. Yeah. I blame whoever done the chart. <laughs> you did the chart. Oh, I did. Okay, so what are you going to do now? Um, now we have to do nine sheep. So one, two, three, four, cross the gates, five. Mm -hmm. And then another four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, very good. So what have you got to do? What's left? Um, this one. What is it? I don't know. Is that how you write cow? Of course that's how you write cow. <laughs> it doesn't look right. <laughs> C-O-W, cow. Okay, so what, what information <laughs> have you been given about the cow? Um, it says we have this many. This so is easy, it's less than five. It's less than five, so how many yeah. do we have? One, two, three, four. Okay, brilliant, so get to your four. Okay, that's good. So can I ask you a question? How many more horses does the farm have than cows? Hmm. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. Twelve so, more? No, not twelve more, eight more. Eight more. Okay. How many chickens, chickens? Does, does the yeah. farm have less than the number of sheep? Hmm. Um, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Eight or what as well. Eight as well? No. What a coincidence. Mm, no, I, I think can... you did that on purpose. No, I didn't. I really didn't. One last question. How many animals are in the farm all together? Oh. Okay. Oh. E I don't know. Well, you have to add it up. Start with the horse and the sheep. How many horse and how many sheep? Twelve plus yeah, twelve plus seventeen equals twenty nine. Okay, that's twenty nine. Now add on the chickens to twenty nine. Continue on your fingers. Twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven. 38. 38. And what are you left to, what do you, have you got left to add on? Four more. The four cows. 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 42. 42. So how many animals are there on the farm all together? 42. Okay, brilliant. And that's come to the end of the lesson. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you did subscribe now, bye! Don't forget to press that like button! Bye!